Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So a slightly different video for you today, but I really wanted to share this with you. While scrolling through TikTok one night, as you do, I came across a lovely lady called Melissa who just absolutely blew my mind with this really cool money saving trick that she came up with and I really, really, really wanted to share it with you guys. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about what it is and then I'm gonna to talk to Melissa to give you a little bit more insight into how she's managed to do it and what it's meant that she could achieve. So first of all, Melissa, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Hi, my name is Melissa Stevens. I live in Phoenix, Arizona. I'm currently a doctoral student studying organizational development, specifically nonprofit leadership. And I primarily work with nonprofits as well. So my hope after I graduate is to start my own nonprofit consulting business. Brilliant. So I'm going to leave the links for Melissa's Instagram and TikTok down below. So make sure you go and follow her. She is brilliant. So what this method essentially is, is Melissa's called it save what you spend. And what she's built up to doing is essentially saving every single thing that she spends. So if she goes to Starbucks to buy a coffee, she'll save that exact amount at the same time. She's got to a point where she was also saving her rent, which is brilliant. And I just think it's such a clever way to save your money. The one thing that she's also mentioned in her video is that if she was buying something and she couldn't afford to put it away at the same time, then she wouldn't buy it, which is just brilliant. You can tell I'm really excited by this. I just, I think it's a really brilliant method. And if you've already heard about it, I'm sorry, but I thought it's worth everyone knowing about this and yeah. So let's just ask Melissa some questions. So firstly, can you tell us a little bit about what motivated you to start this? And did you come up with it yourself or did you get the idea from somewhere else? So I started doing the save what you spend method when I was in college because I don't come from a family that was able to pay my tuition for me. So when I was talking to my advisor and he was explaining interest rates and the length of time it was going to take to pay off my student loans, I felt really bad as I felt like I was gonna be paying off school for the rest of my life. And so I needed to think through ways to set myself up to be able to live and pay my student loans at the same time. So that's where I came up with the save what you spend method. I don't know if that's a formal thing that maybe a financial advisor um, typically promotes. It's just something that I had in the back of my head. From TikTok, I've recently learned that Jay-Z has said something similar, which is great. Um, but it set me, set me up to be able to do the same thing uh, throughout my early career as I was promoting and moving positions um, and making more money. I was able to kind of tack on other different expenses to add more money into my savings account. And eventually I built up to be able to put the exact same amount of money that I was paying in rent into my savings account in the event of an emergency. And what do you know? I did have an emergency um, a couple months ago. I got laid off due to the pandemic, so I'm still able to function and pay my tuition for my doctoral program out of pocket because I have that little nest egg. And had I not done that years ago and really trained myself and trained my brain to think this way, I don't know what would have happened. And how did you build up to covering all of your costs? So I did begin covering all of my costs through an increase in income, as well as paying off debt. So as a recent college graduate, you don't typically make a ton of money. So I started small, as I mentioned, and as I began promoting and making more money and moving positions is when I started adding expenses that I could afford. In addition, some of my expenses were going away. Like I paid off my car, say I was putting, as an example, $300 into my car payment and then $300 into my savings account, well then all of a sudden my car is paid off. So there's technically $600 that I could just solely be putting into my bank account, my savings account. Well, say my rent was $1,200, that means I'm halfway there. So I kind of thought about it that way. Um, and sometimes if I was able to afford it, if I would spend $50 in gas, I would put $50 into my savings account, but it wasn't always a requirement. It always depended on where I was at in life and if I could afford it. You know, there was a period of time where I had medical expenses that took priority. And so I really just shifted what I was doing with my expenses and my finances 
dependent on what my current life situation was because it does vary for everyone. So what has this method allowed you to actually achieve? This method has allowed me to achieve a lot of different things, including being able to live during a pandemic. Um, I lost my job and like thousands of others, we're all competing for essentially the same jobs. So it's been a challenge, but had I not done this, a decade ago, I wouldn't have been able to live comfortably right now um, and give myself a little bit of grace in order to find a new job. Um, in addition, it has allowed me to pay off debt a lot faster, um, technically snowballing the debt that I currently have or currently had um, back then, paying off my car faster, um, being able to afford to live in different places and um, it's just been very successful and I look back and I really kind of thank my younger self for sticking to it because there are of course a lot of influences when you're young to spend all of your money on things that you want and go on vacations and so I slipped up a couple times of course as most people do wanting to go on vacations or buy things that I really didn't need um, you know purses and whatever um, but it's it's really proven a lot of success with this method. And finally, what advice would you give to someone who's wanting to achieve what you've managed to achieve? Some advice that I would give to people who are thinking of doing this method is to do what's best for you. It doesn't matter how I did it. It doesn't matter what anyone else is spending their money on. It doesn't matter what other people are saving. What matters is that you're doing a method that works best for you. So what I recommend is to look at your bank statement online or you can call your bank and get a paper copy and truly see what you're spending your money on. Sometimes going to a fast food restaurant every so often feels like it doesn't add up, but it truly does. And then when you're able to see it, it makes a difference. It's not fun. Trust me, I still don't like to look at my own bank statement. It's just not something that I look forward to on the days that I do it, but it really gives you that financial literacy of your own situation. And that's all that matters. Nothing else matters. And anybody else's financial situation makes no difference to yours as long as you're able to save what you can afford. Short and sweet video today, but I hope you've enjoyed it. And I hope you've learned something and make sure you go and support Melissa. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.